Here we go at the old school. It's going to be bad. What's going on? Please take the camera oh, off, but don't geez. even bring it over there, please. Oh my God! Just keep it away. Oh, oh terrible! Oh my, oh my God! What happened? We've checked out the biggest hits. We checked out the biggest fights in NHL history. Today, we're gonna check out NHL worst injuries ever. Now, I am reading your comments. I appreciate the love. Make sure y'all hit this video with a thumbs up, and let's get straight into it. Come on. Was in a hit for Tavares, knocked down by Sherratt, and Tavares oh. is hurt. He got kicked right in the face by he Perry, went down intentional. Immediately. But he fell down, and boy, he got hit really bad. Oh. He's still holding on to his stick. So John Tavares getting attention here, and so not the hit by Sherratt, but a chain reaction. I think he said he got need in oh, the Oh, really he gone. Oh. Right to the head. Oh boy, that this is scary. Serious. They're gonna need the medical crew, and the officials now are calling for that right away. It wasn't even a big hit. He just got. I think he got. He got need. It happened so fast on the initial Boom. hit. That wasn't the problem. But following up on the play, oh. was Corey Perry trying to get out of the way. Oh. He got him right on the head. And inadvertent of a oh. stretcher being brought out. Because you got to think all the other guy's body weight. He's going backwards. Other dude is going forward. He's falling down and hits him. Bow. Knocks him clean out. Medical staff here. Look at this. Oh. He tried to duck him. He tried to avoid it, though. I will say that. About the other player. He tried to, he tried to hop over him. Oh, bro, my, my neck hurt. Watching this, that's crazy. That's tough. Wow. He, yeah, he on the ground. Yeah, shout out to the other player on the other team. He definitely, okay. definitely wasn't intentional. Well, I will say that. Medical team also he tried his out. best to get out of the way right there. The frustration for John, it seems he keeps trying to get up and everyone just telling him to settle down. The emotions running high. Veteran athletic therapist Paul Ayotte trying to. It's kind of like a freak accident too. Here. The angles on that on that collision Here's were Dr. like David Mulder, unreal. Been with the Canadians. Probably dating back maybe to. Uh, well, for sure, the last players from the other side showing a little teams. love. He has been brought out. To I like the sportsmanship well. I see right well, there. Another reminder of just how quickly things happen on the ice. Look at this. Look at this. Quick little stop up. I think oh. Perry trying to get out of the way. He actually tried to jump over and just a terrible collision here as the head comes. Got right around after the hit from Sherrod. He you tried. Seeing he something definitely like tried. That happening, but you see just how quickly things develop on the ice. <sighs> and you saw Perry look back right away, knowing that. You guys fill me in on what happened. Is he okay? I know this is probably an old clip. So is he, is he decent? Did, did this like retire this dude? That was a serious. like they are ready to that was crazy have him leave the ice and we presume take him directly to hospital for further assessment and Corey Perry over to that's showing love bro give him a tap as you guys know I am rocking with the Hurricanes going into the playoffs if you didn't know, Brett. Yulevi gave it away, and there's a shot attempt off the stick of Gaudet. I didn't even see what happened on that one. I ain't gonna lie. Bailey's shaking up, and he's slow to get up. Whoa. There's Bailey going in, and Milan Lucic. Ooh, man, 
Looked like he was favoring maybe a shoulder. Let's see if he stays yes, at the edge. It does look like the left shoulder. And he's yeah. heading right to the room. I think he'll be all right. I think he'll be. Oh, here we go. The old school. There's a hit by Jokinen on MacArthur. Oh boy, Zednik. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, he's bleeding bad. Richard Zednik is cut quick. wide open. Quick. Oh my God. Oh folks, what this happened? Richard Zednik is cut wide open. What do you mean he's cut wide open? You know what? They oh, is that, it's his neck. How did he cut his neck? They've got a towel on his neck. Dave Zanobi, the trainer, and they're getting him right into the dressing room. Oh, right there. my goodness. He goes down, and there you can see. Where... Bro, well, the blood came out. At... Clint Malarchuk once told the me. The blood came out as life. soon as he hit that dude in the neck. That was a similar incident where the goaltender, Malarchuk, was not able to skate away from the goal. Oh, man. This time, Zednik, as I said, did not look panicked. He did the That's right got to be one of the scariest injuries, bro. A blade to the neck? Because, like, the blade's got to be dumb sharp as it is, and your neck is the most vulnerable spot in your whole body, bro. You hit a neck vein, bro. He went right back to the bench. That's scary, dog. And everybody here is standing, and oh. anybody old enough can remember oh, the Clint Malarchuk incident. Pressured by Fiala, he takes it back. Y'all, let me know if he made it through. Comment in the comment down below. Let me know he all right, man. That was nuts. Pressured by Fiala, he takes it back and gives to Johansson. Johansson swings toward the middle. He's tripped. And we get a whistle. I don't see an arm going up. Johansson clearly tripped by Carlson on this play. I didn't see what happened. Yeah, Johansson had a step on the defenseman. He's not. I think he hit his nuts on the damn like goalie it. or the goal rack thing. But Marcia Show had a great opportunity earlier. And I don't know. This Hold is on. the cat and mouse play if you're a goaltender. Marcia Show scored top glove a couple games at last game. And now what you're happened? wondering if you're a goalie, is he going to shoot top glove again? He changes it up what and happened? shoots low blocker, and Cam Talbot is there. And then Johansson using his speed did have a chance to throw it inside and stepped on Carlson's skate as he went to the net. I was watching closely both referees broke the one his in the hand zone as well. And neither referee, I didn't put see their what happened. I'm not gonna lie to you in the air. I'm and trying I to see no what happened. I have no idea why because that is clearly hand, a trip right there. And not only is it a trip. Marcus Johansson is going off the ice and is not looking really good. Again, great speed. Tries to slide it under Carlson's stick and get a quick shot off. Mm. Unfortunately for the Wild, but just like looking at that replay, the referee was boxed out from where the net was. Mm. So, but I, I still did look at the neutral, the ref and the high end offensive talents. And that's what okay. Kerfoot is, is he's a talented offensive player, but it's hard to get into that role. Oh, that shot came up and hit Hoaglander and he's cut or his nose is bleeding one of the two the puck him in the face the shot from the blue line he had no chance to get out of the way as Jordy Ben that's let it your go. own homie oh, oh no, it's off visor, the visor yeah it's a visor pressure cut. okay so the puck hit the visor into his face so that's gonna be above the eye man, oh see, man Stitch job. One of those plays yes. you can't yeah. really. It is what it is. Play with Claude Giroux and James Van Riemsdyk. They're good veteran players, and he's fit right in. He's hobbling. Why is he hop? Mars, he broke his leg too. or something. What's, what's going on? Let's see the reaction. Oh, oh. He stepped on the stick, and I don't know if it, you know, it's not a blade. It's it's his ankle or his, it's like his knee. Groin. He was having a heck of a time. I, I thought with from his reaction there. That Yo, that's kind of cool though. He was just in so much pain. For he got injured. He he got, he knew he was injured. Slid himself off the floor to his side of the dang on uh, hockey rink. And his boys got him off the thing and they swapped it out. That's that's tough. This is like a Warriors game, bro. There that maybe Look at that. The Grab the stick. He was just in so much pain for. Somebody else went in. That was dope. So here in the first period, is now another five-on-three chance from Debrinket. That stings a Carolina Hurricane. It looks to be Pesci on the ice. Brett Pesci took that one in the face, and mm. uh, there's 
blood coming out of. I know y'all were saying like a hockey puck. It, once you hit it, it can go like dumb, dumb fast. I forgot the first, it's something about certain miles per hour. How fast a hockey puck can fly in the air? Getting hit in the face with a hockey puck, bro. You might as well get punched up by Mike Tyson, bro. She took that one in the face. That's crazy. And uh, there's blood coming out of. It's Red dropping Pesci's these face. dudes. One hit. Right now, Duck Everybody. Bennett, the Canes are attending to their defenseman as the puck hits his stick and bounces up into the Canes defender. Oh, it hits Jordan Ooh. Stahl's stick. And I mean, obviously, no time for Pesci to protect himself. Looks like it catches him just above the jaw on the left side of his face. Ooh. I will tell you this. Brett, I think of a game. This one is fired high Man, this, is oh, no. this is intense because, like, bro, every single play, you just don't know what's going to happen next, man. And the play the play we saw before with Duke got sliced in the neck, bro. Come on, man. You just don't know. Brett, I think of a game. This, one is this is fired insane. High and wide. Oh, no. The skate came up on Boychuk. Another one? Like was headed down to the ice. What? Yeah, Johnny Boychuk, he's cut. He's heading right off the ice. Oh, boy. What happened, bro? Another cut from a skate, and this time it is to the face Facial of Johnny Boychuk. Yeah, you can take another look. And watch Lekkonen skate as Johnny's pushing what? and shoving, and that skate's going to come right out. Oh. It just cuts. oh, my goodness. That's right in the nose area, and that's a that's a that's going to be a big, big-time cut. As you can oh, see, oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. Let's hope he's. Oh. You can see the pain he, he is in. Oh. Right trainer, medical trainer, Damien Hess is trying to oh help, my help him. Oh, my. Come on, Get the back over the line. Here's the oh, here we go at the old school. It's going to be bad. What's going on? Look in. That is the. Oh, God. Oh, please take the camera off, but don't even bring it over there. Please. Oh, my God. Just keep it away. Oh, oh terrible. Oh my, oh, my God, what happened? You're watching Sabres Hockey in the Niagara Frontier Sports Network. Oh. Don't tell me he got cut with a the blade, too. Riviera. It's a classic all over again. They went straight to commercial. Golly. The road has been waiting. Kept the, the camera on when went to commercial. The spirit you fell way back. Somebody's getting fired for that. A weird geometry collision with this is fast as hell. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to keep up with it. Oh no! Scary moment here in Boston. Flutterbuck takes it right on the wrist. Oh man! Oh, dog! Cut his wrist wide open. Oh! case scenario for the Carolina Hurricanes the trainers on the ice again to look at a goaltender and already one goaltender's out of the game yeah I'm not sure if you can really blame Clifford on this one this is a race for a puck and he's focused on getting there you're not expecting the goaltender to be out at the top of the circles Marazic just came out he was kind of far out there you know what I'm saying he was like out there out there again, in live motion there it's just one of those quick plays He's going, trying to get out to the puck. He's focused on All of a sudden, there he is. Morazic going after it. Wasn't just trying to stop and make the play. He tried to follow through. Look I can't goal. call that one. He's trying to make a uh, shot. Can't call it. Because usually I don't really see goalies going out that far to, to get the puck. You know what I mean? He's leaving the goalie, leaving the net wide open. So I think that was, was that a legal hit? I think that was a legal hit. I don't know. I ain't seen nothing crazy. Ooh. He's trying to make a uh, shot with that puck. And... Now there was a little bit. Nah, that's legit. That Clifford's really even looking at the goaltender, but that is that's legit. A hard collision. The mask came off. You can't be mad at that. That's legit, bro. Who's come in and relief and played really It's not like he was intentional with the hit. And Marazic, as you can see, is doubled over. He, he didn't put nothing extra on it. He just ran Clifford into him. As he came up for the collision, got right into the face. That's what knocked that helmet right. Oh, oh, man, hockey, man. <laughs> Y'all crazy. What happened? Oh. oh, and he is in a lot of pain. It's star. Art star. Art star. Oh, yeah, yeah. What happened? Yeah. Oh, he's holding his. 
He's bleeding it out, like bro. He's holding his eyes. His eyes. And that was after a sort of replay. Face off win from Claude Giroux. Well, it's just a matter of teaming and winding up and we're trying to be able to get something to happen. Bro, with the, NH, with the NHL fights and the NHL brawls, at this point, bro, if you're able just to get up and walk off the icy, icy ice rink and be healthy, that's a dub at this point. Because I've never seen so many, like, life-threatening hits in a sport, bro. Like, at this point, if you can get off the ice... And you're healthy, you can go home. That's a dub, bro. Cause this is brutal. But this is the uh the standard of the game right now. Everybody's in front trying to be able to redirect it, and the other guys for the Rangers are trying to block it. Uh, we will uh, the ice, obviously. It is high in the facial area. We we'll want to guess. I'm gonna look at it here. Your stall standing right in the middle of your screen. That yeah, changes direction. Oh. He wasn't really facing the play. Oh, might have been able to filthy. Quickly enough to get it in the and a lot of these, a lot of these situations are just coincidences. Wrong place, in this case, wrong time, bro. But you, listen, they out here though. A couple of options. Drop them. That hit him hard. That was a double deflection. There's just no way you can react. Yeah, there's not. Oh, what's going on? Sight on the ice at the Bell Center. Pat's already trying to reach for a puck. But that time he leans on him and he just takes it right in his head. A lot of force moving into a stanchion that's not moving. It's not Forsling with a stretch pass. To go nah, you ain't gonna skim past that. You're not gonna skim past that. What happened, y'all? Is he good? I hate to even be asking these questions. I hate to be asking you, is he alright? Did he make it through? Cause he was looking like. Comment down below, man. Let me know. Winberg down the ice, picked up by Sergachev. Oh, Durr. nasty hit! And now Sergachev is down. This also behind the play. And Shen's got a hold of Hornquist now. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, he's going to ragdoll him around, no doubt. And yeah. now, look at Sergachev. He's in distress after yeah. taking another late hit. That one from Hornquist. <laughs> look at my wow. hockey fan, bro. He on the glass. This is really yeah. turning in something oh. here in the late Y'all crazy. Game number four at Emily Arena. We'll Y'all wild, wow, bro. Mm, you suck. Ref, you suck. Ref, you suck. He comes from his blind spot and gives him a hearty shot. Yeah, that was a, a that, that was a hit. Distance that he travels. But was it legal? Hold on. And gives him a hearty He had the shot. puck. I mean, this is a big hit. He Look had the, the puck. The distance that he travels. So it was, and hits the ice right it was after legal. the boards and his head and shoulder Come here. go into the board. See the blind spot. He never sees him. At He's all. got Petrano right in, in his face. Ooh. And Hornquist comes in and takes advantage of the situation. Now he doesn't hit him from behind. Yeah. He hits him from the side and front. Yeah. He hits his arms and front for leverage. But it's crazy how all those pads, all the cushion in the world, plus the helmet, which really ain't even a helmet, man. That John, bro, that's barely that's barely a helmet. Still, you are in danger at all times. You gotta be on your P's and Q's on this board, bro. P's and Q's. Right in front, he gets his arms in front for leverage, but the velocity they ain't playing with you in this one. Different. Come here. He's not able to protect himself, and then there's the drops the stick immediately. That would be boarding because of the distance that mm. he traveled and the velocity with which he hit him. But there is no no penalty call on the play right now, from what I can see. Yeah, I mean. Wasn't a back shot, side shot. He had the puck. He just passed it. Aspect of just passed it. So not just this one, but any hit in the NHL. Can't call the hit. Oh, here we go. With these old school joints. Hatcher and Rona going in together. When you consider that they got together. I ain't messing with the old school joints. Y'all crazy back in the day. 
Y'all didn't care. He pulling out teeth. Look at his whole bottom row. This whole bottom row is jacked. Oh man, look at that. So gum is loose. What? Jake for Tannen and the blue. He's got to get out of there. He finally does. Blood all over the ice. Brett Pesci is cut severely. He'll go to the bench. Officials have a responsibility when a player is in distress, no matter what's happening, to blow the whistle. Was this enough to blow the whistle? It sure was. What? No Why would you even say that? Of course it was. This play went Once I see blood on the ice, now, let's just hope I'm blowing the whistle, right. bro. A lot of blood. I'm going with it, bro. I'm sorry. Always we'll figure out where it came from later. Hold on. Tremendous guts block shots. He has a huge pain threshold. He's come back in so many different occasions, putting his body on the line for his team. Let's see how it got cut, though. Hold on. In a one on one battle with Roussel. Legit. You can see the glove rotate to expose the area at the top of the hand. All right, you guys, so that was hockey's worst injuries. I'm not going to lie. I, at certain points, I was like, hold on, bro. Did he make it out, bro? Did he make it back to the crib? You no, know I'm saying? If you guys know the answers, comment down below. I would genu genuinely like to know. This is a brutal sport, bro. All right, playoffs are right around the corner. You know what I mean? I picked my team. I'm, I'm running with the Carolina Hurricanes. We out here. And listen, man, until next time, you guys comment down below what kind of video you want me to see next, man. It could be any sport. We can continue down the hockey, whatever y'all want to do. Until next time, y'all be safe out there. Peace.